I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Our God can be your God. That's today's video short. It's blunt, it sounds a little stupid, but, and it's not politically correct at all, that's for certain. But I'll say it again. Our God can kick your gods behind. It's about the gospel, the message of the crucified Christ. It's different from every other religion in this world. Every other religion in the world has you doing something for God, uh, where salvation or eternal life or nothingness is based upon some change that you make, some denying of yourself, some submission, Islam, that you do in order to make God favorable towards you. You do, and then God does. Christianity, on the other hand, is completely different. It's all about the suffering and death of Christ. Salvation, heaven, eternal life relies not on you, but on Christ. His suffering and death, Jesus' suffering and death, counts for your sins and the sins of the whole world. This religion is true, this faith is true, not because we say that our book is holy and without error, but because it's based upon historic fact. I'll, I'll say that again. Take a look at the evidence. There was a man named Jesus in Nazareth in Galilee. He lived somewhere between 4 and 33 AD. He preached. He taught. He did miracles. Wonderful miracles that were recorded not only in the scriptures, but also in extra-biblical accounts. There's more evidence about this Jesus of Nazareth than there, were, than there is about most commonly uh, most common figures of his day. This Jesus was rejected by the leaders of his day. He was turned over by one of his disciples. His, the leader of his, of, of his disciples, Saint, of Saint Peter, denied him. He was seized. He was mocked. He was beaten. He was condemned by the religious leaders of his day. And then he was crucified. And he died. Say what you want about the Romans. The Romans do what, knew how to do one thing right. They knew how to execute people. Christ died. He was speared. He was poked with a spear. Speared. He was poked with a spear and blood and water flowed from his side. He was dead. Three days later, everything changed. His body was not in the tomb, despite it being guarded. He started showing up to his disciples. First, the most unlikely people were the eyewitnesses to the resurrection. Women. Women were not witnesses in that time. And yet, Jesus shows himself first to the women who came to the tomb. Then, he started showing himself to Frady Cat disciples. And later, to Saul, his greatest enemy, the greatest enemy of his faith, does a complete 180 after he sees Christ raised from the dead. And then later, 500 other disciples see Jesus in various times and places. This isn't a myth. It's not a dream. The disciples completely changed the way they were, they were living. They were afraid, and then they suddenly start preaching. They started proclaiming the resurrection of the dead. And, well, they were they were martyred for this faith. Eleven of the twelve apostles died horrible deaths. St. Paul died a terrible death. All of this was for the testimony that this Jesus, who was crucified on Good Friday, rose again from the dead. And at any time, the disciples could have gone, this is a joke. Well, we we, is this not worth dying for? You know, we made the whole thing up. They didn't. They died for this faith. This gospel spread from the point of the resurrection out throughout all the world. It's not a myth. It's not a story. From the point of the eyewitnesses, it goes out, not the other way around. This is not someone heard something happened in Jerusalem. This is eyewitnesses saw him alive and preached it. So, our God beats your God because, well, he died. Sounds sort of strange. All the other gods of the world killed our God, but he rose again from the dead, showing that there was no other gods other than him. And the testimony of his disciples is that he lived, and he died, and he rose, and he lives now at the right hand of God. Our God kicks your God's butt because our God died and rose again. So, if you're hurting, or if you feel like there's more to this life than um, living, eating, dying, and being buried, if you think that there's something that, there must be something more, 
and come check out the Lutheran Church. Come find out about this Jesus who kicks all the other religions' butts by dying, but not staying dead. His death is the answer for your sins, my sins, and the sins of the whole world. His resurrection is your forgiveness before God, the proclamation that God will not treat you, not treat you as you deserve. No, he put all your sins on his son, Jesus of Nazareth, true God, the only God there is. I'm Pastor George Borgard, and this has been another Higher Things Video Short.